analysis, alternative Olympic analysis, and this will be a video on Ukraine. Now, the Maidan coup occurred between the 18th of February 2014 and the 23rd of February 2014, and this happened after um, Viktor Yanukovych, the then Premier of Ukraine, rejected trade deal and a free association agreement with the EU in November 2013 and the EU had offered um, Ukraine 610 million euros whereas Russia had offered 15 billion dollars um, to Ukraine. So Victor Yanukovych wisely chose the latter and violent protests followed and the coup occurred and 113 people were killed and according to PolitiFact the US spent 5 billion dollars on the Maidan coup and this brought such people to power such as Pravi sector which translates as right sector and their far right Nazist organization and there are there is UDAR which means punch in Ukrainian and it's an acronym for the Ukrainian Democratic Alliance for Reform and they're right wing nationalists as well and there is Kipshina, which is fatherland in Ukrainian, and as the name suggests, they are right wing nationalists. And there's Svoboda, which means freedom, and they are described as the National Socialist Party of Ukraine. And there's the Congress of Ukrainian Nationalists. Democratic Alliance and they are both right wing organizations and then there's a Ukrainian Nationalist Assembly and Ukrainian People's Self Defense. That's the full title of the organization and it is a right wing Nazi militia. Said the Maidan coup, there was Crimea <coughs> between the 20th of February 2014 and the 19th of March. Um, Russia took back Crimea. Um, Crimea voted overwhelmingly to rejoin the Russian Federation as an oblast. After that, Ukrainian blasts between Transnistria and the Donbass attempted to secede, and fighting went on between said all blasts and the new Kiev regime until October of 2014, and it killed 5,000 people. And the fight involved the Azov Battalion, who are openly Nazist. They have iron crosses and white nationalist crosses, and they their logo is similar to that of the Schutzstaffel. And they all operated alongside the Donbass Battalion and the Dnipro Battalion both of whom blocked aid and war crimes were also attributed to other battalions who worked alongside the aforementioned such as the Kharkiv Battalion and the Idar Battalion and the Idar Battalion like the Azov Battalion is noted for its overt fascism and Basically, um, the, the fighting in Donbass has led to a stalemate, and for now, the defense.
ceasefire which was brokered in September of this year has largely helped bar um, a few fatal skirmishes in October which, which killed um, both Russians and Ukrainians and basically Yeah. 